Hi, welcome to the data tech. So today we are going to discuss about generative AI roadmap for non-IT people. And I have made a separate video for IT people, that is students, freshers and IT related uh, experienced people for them also i have made a separate uh, roadmap video and that link is also there in the description of box of this video you can have a look and who in non-it can learn gen ai okay these two is what we are going to discuss and in my next video that is also very important you to watch so future gen ai roles that is in the next three to five years what are all the new roles has been getting created in generate as like software engineer uh, data analyst data engineer data scientist similar to that gen generative ai will have more roles similar to that so we need to discuss that as well and then generative AI market capital so how much investment people are making on top of the generative AI market right so you need to know this because people always used to ask me how safe my job is because of AI right so for this question I can answer you with this market capital okay so this two things we can discuss in the next video fine let's get into the roadmap okay so here is the roadmap so the very first thing is stage one understand gen ai basics goal know what gen ai is and why it is used for you okay so very first thing you need to know what is generative ai and before even that people used to get a question ai versus gen ai see ai is a market under which generative ai is one of the product by artificial intelligent and generative ai is a subset of ai okay so before getting to into gen ai it is no need for you to sit and learn this ai machine learning or deep learning nothing thing is required uh, be, means it's optional if you want still you can do it but as a product like generative AI only you can concentrate you can learn and you can enter into it okay fine so i just recommend you this podcast this podcast done by me with uh, uh, the guest called uh, uh, shrikant he's working for microsoft as a data leader and uh, he have explained why uh, learning gen ai is important than learning artificial intelligence okay but artificial intelligence is it's like a generative artificial intelligence that is gen ai is subset of ai you can just learn gen ai you don't want to get into ai machine learning or deep learning so even for the technical people i can say this not just for non it people okay then where you see it daily so daily like you use chat gpt then you are using gen ai you use canva for designing thumbnails posters etc then you are using gen ai dali mid journey like people have used this ghibli effects right then you are using so generative a in the name itself has it generates something what it generates see it generates text image audio video and coding all right so notion grammarly grammarly also right you are using it in your browser plugin which is like writing assistant and what can you do with gen a writing emails blogs social media posts see i'm using generative AI to create hashtags and then descriptions and then captions for my youtube video right so similarly linkedin post also generate resumes reports design logos poster translate or correct the languages brainstorm idea plans so you if you want to start a startup right based on the generative ai right you can build a startup so you can get the ideas right so i even have launched a book so in that book i have discussed about how to uh, have a startup blueprint plan for more than 50 plus 10 generative ai products you can find the book link in the description box of this video so this is the first phase okay week one so this is something most of you would have already covered this right so if not you have to first start with this and the second phase is learn to use generative ai tools okay goal hands-on experience using popular tools like no coding needed so chat gpt use chat gpt for your day-to-day -day life like text generation ideas writing story creation and etc so canva for designs presentations resume posters text to image and then dali for creating an image and notion and then slides for creating presentations and many more right Right. so these are some of the tools you should be get familiar with the right then only you will come to know like how things are working in the field of generative ai and then stage three prompting skill is very much important even if you are a technical person you should know how the prompting works prompting is something like you ask a question to chat gpt or gemini kind of models right it's a large language model we call them as llm how we call google uh, search as a search engine right and uh, edge in, uh, internet explorer like we call it as a browser right something like that this chat gpt and then this gemini all called as uh, chatbots with the help of large language models so model is something like a brain a human brain similarly for artificial intelligence there is a brain and we call it as a models okay with the help of the model people build product so if, if you take open ai build a model called gpt and with the help of gpt they build a product called chat gpt so chat gpt is 
is a product built on top of their model called GPT and they are giving that model for you to develop such products okay so prompting it's like you're asking question to the LLM like the better you question the better the answer you will get so example good prompts create three day travel plan to go under 10,000 for a family of four write a professional email to for a leave during the health reasons and you have to specify the specific health reasons then only the letter will be really good so the good questions will give you a better answers and the point to note uh, prompt tips be specific and give the context and get ask step by step don't ask the, like a, a, a complete question in a one shot just get, ask step by step or at least ask the chat gpt or gemini to give the answers in the step by step and try to use act as format see imagine that you are uploading a mri scan report of yours and then after uploading it you just ask the chat gpt or gemini saying that think that you are a doctor you just say this to chat gpt think that you are a doctor like an ortho specialist and tell me what this report has so if you do that it, it gets the context of okay i am a doctor and the way the answer it will be like it will be really good and also like if you are studying something and you don't understand right you, you, you imagine you are a college graduate but you didn't understand a concept you can just ask chat gpt saying that imagine that i'm just 10 year old but actually you are 20 years old but you can ask chat gpt like imagine that i'm 10 years old and teach me the concept so it's like you have to specify this act as format and then these are some of the prompting skills that you should know prompting you should know and then personal use cases okay goal apply gen a in your day-to-day -day life for career okay life or career student teachers content creators for content creators a script hashtag captions which i told you try to use it on your daily day-to-day -day life right and try to use as much as possible whichever the things that you feel like you are doing in your day-to-day -day life try to see whether there is an equal and ai tool available for it and make use of it and one important thing that people used to always ask me right see ai tools are costly not all ai tools are free maybe chat gpt is free but they do have the subscription model right see imagine if you work for a company and the company nobody has companies are buying all these ai tools license for the employees you know that's how it is going to be right even in my company we do have and many of the it related companies and even non-it related core companies also nowadays it is giving the employee the access for these kind of ai tools to increase the productivity no so that means people always used to complain about the ai tools are costly and we cannot use it so it's 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 not like an individual they the, the people who create the ai tools it's not highly focused or mainly focused to individuals they highly focused to a group a people group of people or a company right see imagine if your company has it and then you say like no i i have never used it right then there is a problem so try to use it with the free versions whatever available with the free credits and then once your company has the tool in a licensed version and then you are, you can work right so so think in that perspective okay so learning tools is really important because when that tool is used by your company you can straight away say hey i know how to use it and you can just uh, consider so your company will consider you like okay he is very advanced in learning the stuff right you can just show like you are an outstanding uh, team member compared to the other teammates right so that is very important and stage five career boost with generative ai so goal so add gen ai to your resume and use it in job search or business resume enhancement with the ai tools try to build a resume with ai see imagine you build a resume and then you have a job description give these two to the ai and the ai will customize your resume based on the job description and you can apply for it and then cover letter mock interview uh, questions generator and then create a, a, enhance your linkedin profile with ai tool personal ai assistant for reminders and email freelancing ideas like for writing designing translating and even writing a code right and then uh, stage six explore advanced tools like automation tools there are a lot of automation tools like zapier connect that automation tool with gen ai like chat gpt or gemini and you will see the real magic voice ai like 11 labs and play hat play.ht and video ai like pika labs pika labs have been very famous in the recent times right six months back people used to create a lot of effects with their videos right so these are some of the things you should focus from the non-it perspective and then next so uh who in non-it can learn gen ai like you can be a student teachers content creator digital marketer hr professional sales writers small business owners designers law people even doctors librarians so i have given some of the field here but imagine that you ha you are in a field which i haven't mentioned here what you can do just go to chat gpt just mention your field because i i haven't had a doctor here you just mention that you are a doctor and how can i use a generative ai in my domain just ask this to chat gpt you will get lot of things and that way you can increase your productivity
right the next thing i wanted to discuss you is knowledge gap guys like you have to be very uh the, you have to make use of this opportunity exactly see before this internet comes into picture right people used to check books for any issues or errors across any domains or any uh designations you are right we generally used to refer books and after this internet era comes people started using internet even in that time people still use books being considered as an outdated person similarly now gen a used by like there are 100 people in the company right out of 100 only 10 people are using generative ai seriously even in my team right uh, I, people use still rely on google search or stack overflow you know to get any of the issues stack overflow one of the website where people used to report their coding issues and then like they give someone else give solutions and we people will refer that to fix our error so that's that's what stack overflow right so it's like a quora for developers for coders right but the thing is when i get an issue right immediately i go to chat gpt and I'll, I'll share my code and i'll say see this is the error i'm getting and immediately chat gpt suggests me and immediately i'll complete it but the gap is i'm coming under the 10 out of 100 who use gen ai but still there are some other team members in my team who still use the traditional way of searching google getting the solution and it takes one day for them and i'll complete it in hour right and now i've been considered as an outstanding person in the team because i complete my requirement as soon as possible and we call this as vibe coding so in in technically in the coding world we call this as vibe coding so you can build a product just like that in three hours even i have built some products in my youtube channel you can just check in my playlist i have built some of the generative AI products in just three hours of time less than two hours some Something like that wipe coding means you got a requirement you just ask chat gpt it gives you the code or a, or a program whatever it is and then you develop it and then again you face an issue and go back to chat gpt ask it uh, paste the issue and it will it will give you the solution right so now the the thing is there are some gaps where people are still not using generative AI and make use of that gaps to showcase your skills right to showcase your gen ai knowledge so that way you will be considered as a highly demand person because you know how to use generative ai tools right fine so more than this like if you want to have a technical roadmap right uh, you can find that video also from the description box of this video being a non technical person you still want to get the technical roadmap you can just check that video as well and as i told you please do watch this video also right and thanks for watching and if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel and my instagram linkedin and youtube urls are there in the description box of this video if you want you can follow me there as well thanks for watching